key part of the basic co-op structure is that uh, there are two phases of, of a co-op. One is sort of the democratic functioning side, which involves the members exercising their voting rights. And they do that through election of a board of directors, which is in Ontario has to be made up of uh, representatives of the membership. And that happens uh, usually at an annual meeting. Uh, and then there's also the business side of the cooperative. And uh, the board of directors also oversees the business side of the cooperative, usually um, by hiring a senior staff person who then hires uh, re other required staff as possible to run the business side of the cooperative. And so the business function of the cooperative meets the needs of the members, in some cases uh, very directly by providing those goods and services to its membership, and in other cases uh, it's more of a financial equation where uh, the business um, is done with those outside of the membership, but there's a financial return that comes to the membership. And we can talk a bit about how that works when we talk more about uh, the models. Um, when it comes down to motivation, um, you know, there are several reasons that someone would, would choose a cooperative. Uh, and a lot of this depends on what the needs of the members are. Um, but uh, you know, over the last 100 uh, or 125 years that cooperatives have been sort of formally in existence, these are, are some of the primary motivations that people have used the cooperative model. Uh, in many cases, it comes down to economies of scale and the ability to see bulk purchasing power, uh, which allows for the sharing of costs or for the sourcing of goods and services at a lower cost than someone would be able to do individually. Uh, the one member, one vote is also a very strong motivator for a number of people in the sense that it allows for democratic functioning and control of an organization without it always being about who has the most invested in the organization and controls it that way. It's always been a, a fairly strong community focus with cooperatives, uh, and most of them are community-based and have been uh, strongly geographically community-based, although that has shifted. Uh, as cooperatives have grown and, and grown in prominence and size. And the key around the member needs being met is that those member needs are not always financially based, and it's not always about return on investment. Those needs can be quite diverse, um, and we can talk a bit about that as we talk about some examples. Um, so some other reasons that people might choose cooperatives uh, is that there are benefits to both the users of cooperatives and to the member owners. And sometimes those groups are the same. Uh, sometimes the people that use the services are the members, but uh, sometimes it's not. Sometimes uh, the members are different than users. And uh, we'll provide a couple of examples to explain when those groups are the same and when they're different. Uh, again, along with the same idea of, of the democratic functioning and one member, one vote, the idea that these organizations are controlled by their members and are autonomous uh, is a very uh, strong motivator for people wanting to use this model. Uh, because of the one member, one vote principle, the, the member ownership makes co-ops less vulnerable to, to take over by outside agencies. You can't sort of just come in and convince one member to sell you 50% of the shares because you know, the, the, the assets are owned more equally in order for a cooperative to sell its assets or um, sell itself to another entity requires a, quite a strong commitment from the majority of members to make that happen, so it's not as though they can easily be taken over by outside influences. And many cooperatives have a, a strong commitment to the triple bottom line, where it's not simply about a financial return on investment, but also what's the social return on investment and what's the environmental impact and the environmental return on that investment. Um, are there any questions at this point before we sort of get into a discussion of the models or any comments that people want to make?